this book uh, has really, really gone through a long journey. Um, my father, William Odongo Mamo, started writing this book in 1988, and he wrote it intermittently till 2008. So you could say the journey with my father was 20 years of writing. However, he never finished writing the book because he started having bouts of ill health, and unfortunately we lost him in 2010. So it is now 12 years since his death, and you could say that there's been a journey of 12 years since he passed on to see to it that the book is what we have here today. So when he did pass on, we as a family, and our family is big, uh, like you said, the name Kaliech, uh, my dad Kaliech also left uh, a big family out there. He was polygamous, and so there are times that polygama, polygamy specific issues arise. And in this case here, we had those issues because we had people amongst the family who are in different parts of the world, and so putting us together to work on his book wasn't an easy task. So we tried, I must say, uh, as a family, to see to it that we could work on his book, but then things were not moving. And so years went by, and in the year 2017, I picked up the raw manuscript that he had left behind and read it. However, this time around, it was different because, like I mentioned, he said writing this book in 1988, I was literally in class one. So I grew up with this book. I grew up when dad was writing this book. However, I had never internalized the contents of the book. Even when he passed on in 2010, I would skim through it. But I think I was a little young and you know, I had a younger mind. And so I did not fully internalize the book. However, in 2017, when I picked it up, it hit different. I felt like the book was talking to me. There was so much in the book, so many rich topics in it, so many things that I could say are needed for not just Kenya, but the world at large. And so I took it as a challenge, as a personal challenge to see to it that I produced my dad's book. However, even though I read it in 2017, two years went by and in 2019, in one of my WhatsApp groups of uh, my university mates, uh, someone pointed out the death of Jeremiah Kereini, who had been the head of the civil service. And I mentioned to him that Jeremiah Kereini was my dad's friend. And I had the evidence. The evidence was in the raw manuscript. So when I shared a picture of that with him, he challenged me to release the book. I took it as a challenge and I told him that I would actually release it a year later during my dad's 10th uh, anniversary, death anniversary, which was in 2020. However, despite telling him this, I never did anything. The year went by, but in 2020, like you remember, COVID hit the world. And my dad's 10th anniversary happened when everyone in Kenya was indoors. It was during the lockdown period in April of 2020. So it's at that time that I decided to do a tribute to my father. And I did a seven day tribute to him on Facebook to test the waters. I picked up some stories from his manuscript. I also picked up some stories that were personal to me. And I wrote different stories each day for seven days. And the response was overwhelming, I tell you. The response was overwhelming and people kept on asking me that I need to write his book. It's at that point that I realized that his story was still very, very relevant despite him being dead for 10 years. And so the journey towards releasing the book for me began in earnest in May 2020. And two and a half years later, here we are.